Hi guys, so I just got done filming my show and tell from Thursday. Excuse me, and I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of what my space looks like right now. It's kind of tidied. So over here I have my dyes. Um, I have some blinks down here that I use for my Cricut vinyl crafting, things like that. Um, we've got my desk. This is the back side of my desk that I don't really use that often. I use it as kind of a staging ground for like organizing and stuff like that. Things that need to be put up. These have different types of kits and collections starting in them. Or I'm sorting, like this is sorting um, holiday stickers and ephemera and things like that. That don't really belong to a collection. My <laughs> very, very messy TV area there. A little bit of everything. Hey, Ryan, look. You recognize those? You recognize those? Yeah. Um, so this is obviously my filming area where I just got done filming. Let me see my, my finished objects there. Um, yeah, I had a little tiny hole open up right there. So I shoved something in there. That's, um, something I will discuss in a later video. But I have it there all together. But we have all the cake yarns together. And up here on top, these are my solo cakes. They're, um, they don't have any other, I don't have any more of those. Those are just on their own. Um, one ball kind of project things. I got a bunch of my cards that you guys have sent me hanging up. Kind of use the top. I need to go through... I need to condense these pink art bin containers. Um, these have, two have knitting things in them and one has crochet things in them. That's where I stock up my um, subscription boxes as they come in. And this is just a combination of random yarny things in this basket. Um, so all those need to be condensed, sorted, gone through, things like that. But I haven't had time. This is my stack of things that are finished and ready for donation. And then we have books, 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 and more books. This is, I have this set aside for a pattern. I know already what I want to do with it. This is my Harry Potter baby blanket, which I still need to finish eventually one day, maybe. <laughs> um, so I finally had room to put my bins of scraps down here. And I did use my label maker to label what goes where. So those are my just leftover scrap balls from various projects. So when I need something, I can just come down and grab them. That is a specific project. This is some random, I have bulk quantities of it yarn. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with any of it. Um, some of it is, you know, stuff like the factory mill, millins things. I just don't know what to do. That's where I had started the Mandala Madness blanket and then lost my place in the pattern and will never finish it. So it's just hanging out right there until I decide what to do with it. Those are the cards I told you on Thursday that I found in the closet that were done. And a lot of them are just very simple, basic cards. Um, jumbo skeins of yarn. Pom-poms and some jumbo skeins and some packages. So, all the way down until there on this side. Um, these are all size one and two yarns, or sock yarns and lace weight yarns all the way down. Then we have my sport and DK section and starting about right here, I think. We move to worsted weight and size four. Got my premiere Heartland. That's um, Vanna's choice is a lot of that. Hanks that... <laughs> I keep pulling down because I don't know what to make with them. Um, these two are Vanna's Choice as well. 
Burnett Sheepish, Shawl in a Ball, Hobby Lobby. And now we're in, back into the randos again. Uh, Red Heart. Impeccable. Randoms. Um, I know this is ice yarn right here. Premier Basic. And then we start the bulkies. And all oh, that's bulky yarn. That is just kind of some random stuff. There's a light switch back there, so I can't really like fill that in. Um, so the one with the yellow clip on it is a bunch of old craftsy kits back when it was still craftsy. And down below, that was my empty hole. And that is now my alpha stickers for scrapbooking. So what I really wanted to show you guys in all of this was how I organized my desk. This going to be hard to do one-handed, but we're going to try. So I'm starting, getting ready to start a new paper collection to go through. And this one is an actual collection. So I have, it was called Summer Fiesta. I have two packages of the die cut stickers. And these are cardboard stickers. Um, so I have 48 pieces total. Some of them I don't think I'm going to, like... That one's kind of on its own. And that would take up an entire card. So I may or may not use some of these on cards. I may save some for some other things. But it's a very, very summery, exciting collection. Um, this is... And this is from like two, three years ago. And I got it. I know I paid 50%, got 50% off on, at least on this as I bought it. So I have three rolls of the washi tape that coordinate to it. This is why I keep saying, like, I'm never out of washi tape. These are a bunch of card sketches that I use. These are the ones as I'm getting to, like, scrap zones. These are the ones I kind of thumb through. I want to eventually print these just shy of index card size and actually file them, uh, like have them in a recipe holder so I can just flip through them. But that sounds like a lot of work. So what I did is I pulled all the papers out of all three paper packs. I've got two here, two designs. So six that are immediately cards on their own. I will not do anything else to these except for maybe adding some enamel dots. But like this one already has a greeting. This one I might add a sentiment on it that says, hi, hello, how you doing? Salut. Um, so I pulled these out because these are really just, I'm going to cut these into four by six or four by five, whatever, A2 sized and go. Then I also pulled out these separate. And these will probably be used as um, separator strips across the cards that I make using this stack. And this is a very quick way to do a flip through of an entire paper pack. But that's what I'm going to have to work with. And if you're wondering what I meant by microprints, this is definitely a microprint. It's a tone on tone or what I think of as a microprint. It's a tone on tone or read solid kind of print, whereas this one does not read a solid at all. Um, but this can be used as a nice place to rest your eye on a card. Same way you would do with a quilting fabric. Solids don't necessarily have to be solid. They just need to give your eye a place to rest. Um, so I did go ahead and bring out all the washi tape and I've got this sitting out ready to go as I finish cards or card tops. I set them in here. These are my last three folded paperback things. These are the cards from the last, the spring set that I finished up, but I set the card top in here. When it's done, that way it's out of my work or surface, work area, and it's going to be safe. And then I'll come through in groups of 10 or 12 and glue them onto the card base. Um, 
I do have some extra sitting here from the last spring cards I did. I keep one of these going as I'm using up the end of washi tapes. Frequently, I've only got four or five inches left. So it's not enough to put on a card or anything else. So I do a scrap base like this and I can just take a punch like one of these. This is my two and a half inch scallop and I can you know, put that down, write hello on it and done. That's a card top. Um, sweet, simple, and easy. So I keep one of those on hand. These are some just random off cuts that need to be filed still. That needs to be put back with my Easter stuff, though some of those colors coordinate really well to this paper kit. I've got decorative scissors. That's my spindle of stickers, which I'm really bad at using um, for card making. I when I scrapbook, I tend to use a lot of these and try to coordinate my sticker to the picture and then pick a paper. Um, these are my non-white envelopes and some of the card bases. I did set some white one on top the other day when I was cleaning, but that's my box of white. And as I, I just opened that one. So as I use that back, um, I'll start sticking my white card bases as I make them in there. And that way everything's together. I can stick the washi on the envelope and put everything together. Um, one of the other interesting things that I do is I have two different ways of storing my scraps. So these are all leftovers from other projects or just some pre-cuts that I've done. But these are four by five and a quarter um, mats four cards. So when I put these on the cards, you know, I've got a nice, I can decorate on this piece and it gives me a nice landing place and I've got a nice white border, everything else. Um, so I do have a bunch of these that are pre-cut generally out of my scraps that I've used from other things. Like this is a these are from a paper collection that I used a couple years ago. This is um, a decoupage, a decoupage project with that. That's Halloween, Halloween. That's just some black. That's a Halloween leftover. And then there's a bunch of black scraps in here from different things. Um, that's from a Thanksgiving card. And then a bunch of just solids that I pre-cut. <laughs> I go through a lot of purple. Um, that's actually a Halloween scrap that I love. But that's all this is. Um, I am a huge fan of labeling things, as you can tell. Uh, I like, I am organized because I'm lazy. Um, I like to have things at quick and easy reach. I like to be able to know exactly where something is so I don't waste time in trying to find things. So if I need a yellow card base. I can come here first. And I just moved these here. So this is this is not where they originally were. But it, say I need a yellow card base. I can see if these match the paper collection I'm using. If not, I can cut into a different piece, find another piece. Same thing here. I've got a bunch of, I mean, I've got glitter, pinks, hearts, flowers. Um, so as I'm working, I've got these at hand's reach. I've also got down here in the floor just plain white cardstock and black cardstock. That that needs to be put back up. I've got that fixed now. But um, I've got this box here. This box is my scrappy scraps. I am a I am a sorter and organizer, and I'm rather unapologetic about it. But you can see I've got holidays, textures, and colors. And these are all of my smaller than four by five and a quarter strap scraps. And that way I can come in here if I need to punch something. I did a bunch of this with the Minions paper. Um, I came in I did a bunch of die cuts like this. 
out of here. Those are just some extras I had. Um, I used my punches on a lot of things. I use a lot of one inch and one and a half inch squares. Just when I'm doing a sentiment, it gives me something to draw your attention to the start of the, you know, hellos. Um, but a lot of these are, are solids. They're not paper scraps. I tend to try to use my paper paper as much as my decorative paper as much as possible. Um, but I can easily come in here to find a backing strip for something or, um, yeah, those little decorative banners and strips I put on the insides. This is actually glitter paper. I haven't put a label on that yet. I have a bunch of various metallics in here. I use that a lot for Christmas. My Halloween scraps. I did uh, goodie bags a couple years ago for my husband's uh, team. And I wrapped all the individual chocolates and stuff like that. Got fall and Thanksgiving in here. A lot of these are from where I did hot cocoa packets. The plaid, that green, and the L for hot cocoa packets. But if I need something, I've got this right here. As I'm making cards, I can set it in the floor beside me. And you can see that's easy reach for me to grab. It keeps my desk clear. I did just... I had to clean up this whole area because I had a bunch of scraps out. I didn't have everything pulled out like I used to have it. Um, since the move. Now over here, these are two. The size will not cut down to four by five and a quarter, but they're healthy size scraps. I can use these for punching. I can use these um, as background strips for another size paper or something, another size card. Um, these are just some random long scraps that I don't want to cut out. These are a bunch of strips about the size that I can stamp, you know, hello, how are you, with sympathy. And I've got, I only put my white, off-white, black, and craft in here. Um, these are tools, Cricut tools, extra scissors, fancy pens. Up here, these are stickers of random uh, sorts. Actually, there's some Halloween stuff in there. That needs to... Um, but frequently, these are used actually more for scrapbooking. This is my enamel dots bin. And I have some big sheets of enamel dots. These are things I don't use as much, but still want to keep by my desk. So I've got doilies tags, ephemera, and that has my fancy brads in it. We have alcohol markers and water-based markers, holiday washi tape. That is where I've got my pre-made, store-bought envelopes, adhesives, foam, ATG, big roll of foam. These are my smaller adhesives that are glue dots, uh, Tombow tape runner, things like that. Um, this normally lives on the right-hand side, but since I cleaned, I stuck it over here. But that's my big roll of foam tape. Stickles and Nuvo drops. That's where I keep my paper trimmer when it's not actively being used and my stamp platforms. These are the kits and collections I have not used yet. And... That's more blanks for the Cricut. That's just drawing pads. And then as you go back under there, there's um, vinyl scraps in a scrap bin just like this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've got, you know, some of my smaller storage and things like that that are labeled um, embossing, nope, glue, wet glue, embossing powders. I've got, I, I am not a huge stamper, but I do like having the right colors for things. So I do have two drawers with ink pads in them of different sorts. Um, and then I do have my 
memento stays on ink pads up here. These are some chalk inks from Versamark, I think. And all of this is kind of slowly built up over a couple of years. I've got a lot of my pens and pencils, um, things that I can do smudging. If I want to make pretty cards like Marsha makes, that stuff's in there. But yeah, I mean, this is, you know, how I set up to use my desk for card making. I've got my computer right there if I need to look at something specifically. Got my TV. I can still look at my pretty yarn. But yeah, I've done a lot to make this more functional than it was. Um, and this is just, this is kind of like a six month check-in from where I was right after we moved into. I haven't really shared how I've, how I've been using the space since we moved in, since I got everything initially unpacked. I do have my... Cricket stuff up there. That's pictures, some paper flowers. My washi collection. Like I said, you can't even tell how much I've used, even though I've used like 20 rolls of washi tape. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. I've got, that's Halloween. That will be the next set of cards that I start. I went ahead and brought those in. That's, um... I think it's a combination of three different doodlebug collections from the last, like, three years of Halloween. So I'm going to have to go through and organize that and see really what all I have in there. But I'm going to get some super cute cards out of that. Um, yeah. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy the tour. If you have any questions about, you know, stuff, let me know. I love answering your questions. I love interacting with you guys and sharing what's going on but that that that's the reality of of where I am when I'm filming yeah I think it's always so funny every time I do a video in here and like pan around and you can see my little filming corner down there um I do I clearly have a lot more organizing left to do to get things off the floor get things out of the way so I'm not tripping over them I've got access to stuff um but I am making progress and I am getting things in a slightly more usable format in here too. So anyway, you guys, take care. I love you guys and I will see you real soon.